So today I would like to talk about bullseye glass. It's kind of what I use for kiln working. It um, is all compatible with itself. It's really cool. But I really am in the mood for turquoise. So I'm going to try to see if I can make this piece of glass right here, mix up a couple of layers of powder on top and get more of a turquoise feel to it. Glass is really interesting because you can layer on top of one another and create different shades, but you're never quite sure unless you do little test tiles of what it comes out. Got to have it now impatient type person, so I'm not going to bother doing little test tiles um, I'm just going to go have at it can change it up. So it's been 48 hours. We had a thunderstorm, so I couldn't run the kiln at night. But remember this beautiful green piece of glass that we were trying to turn more turquoise? It didn't quite turn out. This was the original, close to the original color. And this is what we got. It's more of a pea pod green, and the ginkgo leaves didn't show nearly as well as I wanted them to. I can just barely see the outline in them. You could do a couple of different things. I'm thinking I might want to break out some of my enamel paints and paint the ginkgos. Okay, so after much deliberation, I chose purple. One of the questions I get asked a lot is how long it takes me to make a glass box. The simple answer is two days. Each time I add a layer of powder and or paint, it goes back into the kiln for 24 hours. I'm not afraid to experiment when I design my glass. This is the soothing, relaxing, get in your zone and play music and paint. The do not disturb sign is on the studio door kind of moment where you can let go of the day stress, enjoy the process, get a little messy. Yeah, lots of times you're tired. But to me, I sleep a heck of a lot better once I get all of my ideas out. And then the fun part is breaking glass. We'll get to that in just a moment. Hi, everybody. She's out of the kiln. Check her out. I love how she came out. I'm really happy it didn't turn out as turquoise as I was hoping. Funny how things work out. This combination is reminiscent of so many things. I absolutely love it. So, let's break some glass. I can't wait to tear into this and see. One of the things I love about fused glass is that it goes through an annealing process which makes it so much stronger than regular stained glass. On the flip side though as you can see it makes it more difficult to cut and there are a lot of variables when using fused glass. There are also many steps fusing, cutting, grinding, foiling, painting, soldering, and then finishing. <laughs> I never realized how many until I started filming. Within all the busyness, a little magic happens. The story comes to mind of each box. Sometimes I have a story already in my head and I just want to complete it. And sometimes it changes and different things float up into my mind. Challenges, struggles, different storylines. I like to capture them and write them down. Why else would they be there unless it has to do with what I'm working on at the time? At least I like to think the muses have something to say about that. And then I allow myself the space and let the ideas flow and give myself time to finish all the details. Thanks for watching guys.